Hey y'all, it's me, Laura B. at Craft and See with Laura B. How is everyone today? I'm pretty good. Pretty good. Rolling up my sleeves. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Get those wagons rolling. Rawhide. Sorry, there's my way back machine for the day. Anyway, I am here uh, to film the... the, 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 the another installment in the Ode to Janie B journal and where I last left off I made some pockets I, I filmed a lot over the last few days I've just not been able to sit down and get them edited and up I did finally figure out how I wanted to join the signatures to the lace spine um, it was trial and error, but I ended up uh, taking a piece of lightweight chipboard, you know, like the Joe's Frozen Meal type things. And I actually used white gesso to cover over it and then put this, this stuff down. I don't know if that's... Con Somebody said muslin, and I don't know my fabrics, y'all. I don't know my fabrics. And so, this is what I have, and I was using what I had on hand. And Anyway, so, after I glued those together, and then I went over with the extra fabric from here. So, when you open it up, come back to the center, it looks like this. Different, different incarnations of how I was going to do this and well it is it wound up how it wound up and I um, asked somebody on Natalie over at La Nonstop Paper Crafts her board and somebody mentioned the muslin and then I looked up a video and watched like 30 seconds of it if that and was like oh okay I get the idea I get it you know sometimes you just need it there's a gap. You know what it's supposed to look like. You know how you're kind of supposed to go, but there's a little bit of piece of information missing, and as soon as you find that information, you're like, oh yeah, okay, I'm fine. So here we are. I am running around lately. I may have mentioned this in the video that was supposed to go up today, and now today is Monday, because I just can't get it together, y'all. I just can't get it together. Um, anyway, uh, hang on, I thought I needed the window open and now I've realized I do not. But wait, I do not. At least not an open that I have it. There we go. It's just a little chilly so far this morning. Anyway, um... So I got it figured out. I've been busy because well, I'm going camping. I'm sorry. You know, you look at something that you, you've done and you're like, I wonder if I could. Hmm. Maybe I should. Hmm. Well, what about if I, huh? And then, yeah, so there's a lot of that going on. A lot of that. Anyway, um, been running around I was invited to go camping from my by my friend Jen and it's rustic camping and I'm not used to rustic camping I need to figure out if I can fix that thing this right here is a pocket and another pocket and we're gonna start decorating tags but real quick I we played around with my uh, wax seals several months ago and did two on a strip of lace and then just cut off the one I wanted and then glued it to here and then velcroed that there so you actually can but in the process of uh, sewing all the signatures in this got a little macerated and this one goes back here that's where that goes at least that part does. So, anyway, I'm really glad that I got everything in here. They're not running around, you know, all over the highway, and I don't have to worry about it. I was trying to decide, though, if I wanted 
to put some lace on this, but I don't think that I do. And there's this. So anyway, what has been happening? Um, I believe I told y'all in my last video about the mail that got stolen. You know, a tag mail swap and somebody robbed it out of the envelope. And then, um, if any of this is on repeat, just ignore it. But anyway, so, um, I had my last remaining GFI on in my area of the house and blow last week, last Monday, actually. And it took the... Um, I, sorry, I have so many thoughts suddenly running through my head, like, oh my god, did I just cancel that? This conversation made me think of another conversation, like, oh, did I cancel all these appointments? Do I have physical therapy this morning? No, you do not, remember, you're going camping. It's Tuesdays and Thursday this week, and you canceled them both. Okay, Whew. you know how it goes. Anyway, um, GFI, it took the other wall, wall outlet out and then the outside outlet out, which powered the shed and its sensor light. You know, the inside of the shed and the sensor light and the porch light with it. So, yeah. Anyway, and so Joe's niece's promised fiance um, is supposed to he's in training for all that stuff and so that's what he's doing he's supposed to come over and it will be while I'm gone which is just so happy about that so so happy about that you know what I'm gonna put this on here and People either like it or you won't like it, but hang on, let me ink her up so it's not quite so. Hi, I'm here. Oh, for crying out loud, Nora, get it together. Today, I really am just suddenly again there it is I'm looking for one out of like 15 because why you know have just one when you can make them out of bottles and you know thread spools makeup sponges. I mean, it's, seriously, it's just so much. Anyway, so he's supposed to come over and, you know, find out what the problem is and fix it. Now, you know, I have a cousin who became an electrician, a journeyman electrician, and it's a lot of schooling. So I know this kid's not done. I don't, for sure, I don't know. Anyway, he's supposed to come over and fix it while I'm gone, and then I'll have all that back, and hopefully he'll fix the GFI that isn't in the bathroom and figure out where the wires are crossed. I don't know. Now, I really like this. I'm not childish. You're just a big duty head. I don't know why. I don't know if it's the mood I'm in. That might be a little bit too on the nose, putting it right under his butt. But, <laughs> however, yeah, I'm, I don't even want to put anything other than that on here. I don't need to put lace. I don't know, there's something about the Encyclopedia Britannica sized bird with the school ledger paper on it with the I'm not childish you're just a big duty head that really did it for me this morning. <laughs> it's really doing it for me. 
So sorry if it's not for you. But it is for me. <laughs> you open up the journal. I'm not childish, you're just a big duty head. Next to the Jane Austen quote. To be fond of dancing was a certain step it towards falling in love, which just doesn't make any sense at all, but love, love, love. This me some Jane Austen. Okay, so I also have more of these, and I cannot spend all day trying to come up with stuff. So, I am going to just kind of wing some of it. Now, in here, I put small... journaling spots, just little tiny ones that picked out the ones I liked the best, just, excuse me, I'm really liking this, so what has been happening in the last couple days, I'll tell you what's been happening, and I'm, I'm quite vexed about the whole thing, truly, um, I... sent off for a replacement bank card and it was supposed to be here on Saturday. The other mail piece that was supposed to come was in the mailbox, but not that. Now coming on the heels of the happy mail incident from last week, you have the happy mail incident, you know, where parts were missing. God knows where that happened. You know, it could have happened anywhere. It's, it came from the southwest east I'm in southeast I'm so used to southwest but so having the mail jacked out of that and then this whole uh, electricity thing and and the whole going camping thing which is like outside my comfort zone. You see, this I'm me rocking back and forth. Oh my God, just get it off. Um, kind of. <laughs> Even though I like camping, or I used to like camping. Anyway. So here we are. I can't talk and craft at the same time. Bad me. And... Then the mail being a late, and then on top of being late, it was a new mail carrier. I, I ended up talking to Jeff about it. We were both going to get the mail at the same time. So I'm expecting this bank card. And you know, anytime you know something like that is on its way, you tend to watch a little closely. And I... I'm just that person. Then I know when my mail's coming. So anyway, it says it's going to be here. Finally, she sits outside the neighbor's house. Doesn't get out of her little van thing. Just sits out there. For probably ten minutes or so. And it was like really kind of freaking me out. You know, because it's... What are you doing? What are you just sitting there? And then when she came and, you know, pulled up and... And found it, realized, you know, yes, it is a woman. And after she delivered my mail, then she sat there. And, you know, I was trying to see what she was doing. And then she drove off. And guess what? The package, the other uh, tag, Happy Mail was in there. But not my bank card. Now, you know, they're new, and I was talking to to Jeff about it, and he was like, yeah, she's new, she's probably just, you know, looking through her mail, and I told him, I said, yeah, you know, it's just a little bit, hang on, okay, um, I've got construction going on around the, down the street. The neighbor's dogs, you know, they're barking about everything. And then I've got the chickens out there. Because the window is still slightly open. And sometimes I don't know if it's the kids going to school, because I have two schools right behind me. If it's kids going to school, if it's what it is that I'm hearing. Or 
is a chicken in trouble. Anyway, so I'm sure you can forgive me for being just a little bit paranoid. So, and I was telling him, I said, he said, I'm like, I have informed delivery. I know outside of circulars and stuff like that, what is supposed to be coming in my mail box. You know, and they're really good about here. It's rarely, rarely more a day late. It's if they ex tell you they're going to expect it by, to expect it by, t on you know, Tuesday. It's out for expected delivery by Tuesday. It's going to be there. If they scan it in the informed delivery and this is what your mail is, it's going to be there. So yeah, so I'm just a little bit, I got to figure out how to do these reverse ways. That's how I was going to do it. Anyway, I got to get to snipping. I have issues with the corners. So sue me. So all the tags are done for this. <clears throat> They're all made except for the cover. You know, the inside and back cover ones. And the problem with living where I live is the acoustics. I can think somebody's talking right outside th this wall and they're down the street. Or I think somebody's pulling into our the gravel of our driveway and it's Somebody pulling out of the one of those little short drives across the way. So it's just weird and I'm all, all uh, about it. So I make it even weirder. I'm wasting everybody's time. Might kind of go. Oh, for God's sake. This is my indecision. This is why it takes me for friggin' ever. Is I'm always indecisive. Always, 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 always. <clears throat> If it does not show up here today, then I will be, well, A, <laughs> on the phone with the bank. The second I get in from that mailbox, and I already, already, uh, it said I didn't receive it. Normally I wait. This is just, this day and age, you just can't sit on anything, unfortunately. I'm just trying to... I'm going to use one of these to see what color I have in there. I think it's color that I'm going to like. We shall find out. Hmm. It's one I can live with. So, oh, let us. There. 
Mm. Allergies, allergies, allergies. Suck. Suck, 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 suck. So, Isabeau does not get to go camping. Which, you know, while I'm a little bit sad, it's actually... My dog... <sighs> I love her to pieces. I do. But she is a lot. She, no, just not even a lot. She, oh, I bless her heart. And she's so loving and she's so friendly and, and outgoing. But she's a lot. She, and she's a bulldog. And I didn't get her till she was almost four. And she came from a pack of eight dogs. So, you know, obviously to a degree that there's a lot of competition for love and affection. And she's a lot. Oops. Anyway. Her mom's dogs are going in. And... Is supposed to dreaming. Speaking of, she's dreaming. Um, I just can't. She's just a lot. So, yeah, she's not going. And if I had had the money, and because it would have taken a lot of money, you'll know that I would have had her taken her to training, you know, but. She's a bulldog, and she it was almost four, and pack raised her really bad, really bad habits were pretty much set. And while she does not like to displease me, anyway, she, she doesn't like the feeling that she's in trouble. Which, yay, who does? Um, I'm going to go ahead and put something on this. Oh, let's see. I have a bunch of slurp tea. I do have some fussy cuts, some phrases, some what have yous. Not many. As much as I love her kits, she's not doesn't have a lot of ephemera type of, you know, no, fussy cuts is what I'm trying to say. So anyway, you know, leaving tomorrow morning, Isabeau's staying with her Grammy, so she's going to get fairly spoiled, and she'll get her fill of having playmates. You know, like I said, one of eight. They did not do her or shoot why do I do that think of something at the last second and then try to make it happen just find it or don't find it Just a little bit. Hopefully that will stick. Um, and my social. I won't get to be top dog for a, a few days. You know, she'll have to share the spotlight. But I will be able to go and have a good time. And not have to worry about using what little strength I have to corral my very eager, very eager doggy. 
whom I love to pieces, but oh my god, sometimes she's a lot. <sighs> Bulldogs are an, unlike anything I have ever encountered. Not like I've had a crap ton of dog experience, not even saying that, but I've had enough to know that she's just a little bit different. Where's that tune? Maybe I'll do that. You just it's it's a nonsense tune that you somehow made up out of whatever and and you think about it all the time, and you sing it even more, and it's like this running thing in your head. glue on my hands crap I just don't like it I don't like it at all oh for God's sake and obviously I'm not gonna do a lot on everything or I close this thing and I do want it to be able to be written upon upon which to write <laughs> and then this glue gets every ugh everywhere apparently it's me I apparently I just have a glue thing <laughs> I hear other creators talk about it and I'm like oh whatever and then look at me I have discovered, though, that alcohol, rubbing alcohol, rubbing alcohol <laughs> tends to help. Although this might not stick because it's... So that's what's been happening. And I've been, uh, let's get your die cuts back out. Put all this where you want it so you know where it's at. Don't be your normal self. This is not one of those instances where I need to be running around and going, but I've just got to be me. It's like, no, on this instance, you need to, need to not be you. Try not being you for once. See what happens. Excuse me. All right, here we go. A soft little bird. Now these are all obviously die cuts. The most, however, are the ones that I have done something to. My butterfly collection, fussy cut, 
heart is, you know, well, they're fussy cuts, not die cuts, so I guess I should excuse myself from that one right there and not say anything else. Oh, not say anything else. I was really hoping to be able to want to use one of those, but... at all, huh? And concentrating. And, you know, going through my mind. What do you need to take? What do you need to do? Don't forget this. Don't forget that. I mean, I gotta remember to send my dog with her medicine. Or she's going to be feeling very poorly come Friday. Very poorly indeed. Um, Especially with all the extra running around she's going to be doing with all the other dogs. And squirrels come around those parts. Squirrels come around Grammy's parts. They don't come, I mean they do, but they stay on the fence line here. And There's a lot more stimulation over there, just even in the yard. She has a, she's a bird rescuer, so she has... Well, she still has them caught. She has... Alright. How many African greys were there? There were two and one flew off and just didn't come home. It was a... Somebody was leaving town kind of thing. We don't want her. We can't take her. Whatever it is. Enough. That's really good enough. So, here's a cute little one, and actually, I think I will put that butterfly right on the top of it because why not? It's here. The light. So Jen came over yesterday and we had a good time. It was funny because she helped me put the TV on the last TV stand that I bought that I want to send back because it's very, very rickety. Well, I ordered and uh, I actually found a wall mount that, you know, that does everything I needed to do. Because of where it's situated at, it gets a lot of uh, sun glare, light glare from the window. So I need to um, I needed to what did I need to do? I If I was going to have something wall mount anything needed to be able to, to tilt to, you know, turn a certain way to minimize the glare. And, well, It was finding that one thing that is proven to be a little bit of a headache. I finally did find something. No. So yay me, I found something. Uh, but I wasn't sure it was going to fit because I have a weird VESA, whatever they call it. It's a, a measurement thing, how you measure. sure I like the color of that 
goes over there. Anyways, I found this one. And my VESA for my TV, you know, it's a used TV. It's several years old. I mean, several years old. Really old, now that I think about it. Oh my god, it's probably one of the first flat screens ever made. <laughs> it's old. But it still works well. At least as, as far as I could read. <laughs> Maybe I misread the manufacturing date. But I could have sworn it said it was 07. Which is really, really old. And disappointingly old when, you know. But anyway. So it's VESA is huge. And that's, if for those that don't, may not know. It's the diagonally and vertically the the screw holes where you mount it to anything and mine is extraordinarily huge for a an inexpensive one and one you can find easily so yeah here we are and I was really nervous because I so I finally found one that was more than I needed it you know it was one of those convertible ones that go from small to big and it was big enough more than big enough to handle what I needed however I didn't bother to look at the size of TV it held you know I was just going on well if you can use it 400 by 400 logic states that you know from my research that most 400 by 400 are around 32, 35 inch TVs. <laughs> or, you know, maybe a little bit bigger. But no, 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 no. So this one, as I get to looking at it, it, um, this one, the smallest TV it holds is 60 inches. Well, mine's 42. And so then I started thinking, oh my, I tried to cancel it actually. Because I, I didn't I didn't even see that part. I mean, I was concerned with the VESA. I couldn't find a big enough one. Oh my gosh. It's a whole thing, y'all. It is a whole thing. Trying to find one. Um, so anyway. I don't even think I'm going to... You know, maybe I should. I'm just... Wow. And it showed up after she left. I was I was thinking I was going to have to, you know, send it back. and Because I got to thinking that maybe the frame that the whole thing is mounted on, you know, that the TV mounts to, is the bars are going to be too big and it's going to, like, stick out. But, no. It is not. I measured the TV. I measured the... Um, the TV, the the wall that I'm putting it on, the, that it's on right now. That you know, I, damn it, I really wish I. So if I want to put it on, um, oh my God, I cannot speak and do this at the same time. I'm just gonna shut up for a little bit. I mean, we're already at 40 minutes. She's my, she's my go-to girl when it comes to this kind of stuff. That's why. You know, I was like, ah, why did it come the, right after? I mean, we're talking 15 minutes after she left. So I did get to looking at it. Oh, perfectly. Uh, look, I just missed him. Yay. I was kind of concerned that I was going to... trying to think real quick if I had any lace. And no, I do not. So it looks like, you know, I was concerned that the, uh, oh, that was further down, the, the frame that you stick the TV on, like I said, was going to be too big, too wide, and it would be sticking out and all funky looking, but it's not, so yay me. And this, I'm just going to slide through. And 
and for the sake of not spending forever doing this, I'm just going to dab a bit of glue. We're tiny, we're toony, we're all a little loony. That's something I never watched. But I had, you know, stepbrother, step scissors, a little sisters and little cousins that did. <laughs> so I remember some of the theme songs. Ooh. There we go. Does anybody have the ice cream man that comes around in the little ice cream man thing? Still, because we do. And it, I really enjoy hearing it. The ice cream man is coming! And I kind of want to run out and run out and get some, but I don't because, you know. Ooh, I kind of like that one. And I dislike the antenna, cutting around the antenna. Because you know me in white borders. So I'm, you know, okay. So this, I am shooting for Tuesday and Thursday this week. You know. It, it, we will not be on silent mode. I mean, there will be a cell signal, kind of, <laughs> apparently. So it won't be, you know. Basically, I'll check my phone a couple times and, you know, make sure that something bad hadn't happened. But other than that, boop, boop, boop. shoot. Again, this is a, you know, ode to Janie B. So I will link her shop. I'm trying to use primarily her stuff. If I need to, I can. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, I can. augment it, but I don't want to augment it, you know, with phrases, and I mean, obviously I'm doing like butterflies, because, well, um, my question is, real quick, because, you know, I suddenly stopped and went, oh, yeah, regarding Distressed Oxide Shades, I am wanting... A basically a brighter shade than this but dark if that makes any sense because like I have this is pretty bright but it's it's lighter so if you know what I'm talking about I, I let's see I want some, a bright color I want a bright blue is what I'm looking for a bright blue not quite this dark, but you know what I'm saying, or trying to say badly. Please, 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 please find me something there. I'm trying to make sure my flutterby is not on the same side as the book. Because you know that would just. So that is what I'm looking for. If anybody knows a shade, you know, I've got chip sapphire and weathered wood and tumbled glass, stormy sky, stormy sky, weathered wood, tumbled glass, and speckled egg. I 
always try to put them in an order of shade and I'll almost always invariably fail. There he is. Um, you know what would be kind of fun? No, it won't be. It won't be fun. It won't fit. Okay. I was gonna put some lace. But then realize that it's really not gonna be able to handle it because it's we got it's a two for pocket. So one matches, I know, one matches that side. What I was thinking when I did this, I don't know. And then this one, which I probably could attach something. I could attach something. Maybe a little pull. I could attach the same. Think, 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 think fast, think fast, think fast. Do I have anything like that in here? Good. Might could. Might could. No, I do not. All right, so we will just use this. Think, try to see if you can think of a new way to attach it. To... This is so hard. There we go. Close enough. Oops. Huh. I was thinking that I had the rose gold in there, but hey, the funky color was a different one. Okay, I'm just going to do that later because it's, it's vexing me. It's vexing me, and it's not going to get any better because I'm going to have to, uh, I'm going to pull the staples out and re-staple it. All right. So, so far, the story so far is finally got the cover done. So that's what that's going to look like. A really pretty spine. And I haven't made those first. This I did off screen. So um, just a wax seal on lace that I glued and Velcroed. And then here, <laughs> I'm not childish, but you're a, you're just a big duty head. I, I, I like that with the stork, the schoolish paper in the background. That makes me kind of laugh. And because I've put another card in there, it's a surprise. Shh. It's a surprise. Um, a lot of these I've already pre-decorated the pages. So, and here's this. All we did was slap some stuff on there. And I'm trying very hard not to make the pockets and everything rhyme and reason. Obviously, I, it's very difficult for me. That kind of, uh, I don't consider that eclectic. I mean, my the walls in my house are eclectic. None of my decorations match anything. It's just, if I like it, it stays. But I like, I do like tonally. So here is this one. And I think I just doesn't quite like to go in there with both of them. And that is why I didn't attach anything to it. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. I thought I heard something. I thought I'd heard something. Oh, how was everyone's weekend? Do anything fun? Have a good time? 
and I'm not going to be able to do them both at the same time, so stop trying. These just are very hard for me to get in. And you see, I've thumb notched them. There. Ugh, just so difficult. Plus, I'm short. And so, and this chair is up all the way it can go, but I'm still, you know, boob level. So I can't see really without, like, yes, I know, my hair is a wreck. There might be other wrecks, but it's a wreck. And I wonder if I have a bright blue anything. Right, blue and yellow birdie. That kind of goes. Ooh, that might go better. Yeah, that goes better. Get back in there. Try to be speedy as I sit back in my chair and try to fussy cut this. Maybe if I'm not on screen per se I won't get so even additionally I've got to get the oh, I have to text Michael Joe's caregiver that comes in on Tuesday uh, for the first Tuesday I think probably one of the first Tuesdays since he's been here. I won't. Be here when he's here. I, you know, I won't be here at all. Any way, shape, or form for it. You know, usually I'm coming home or. Just leaving or something. Which is, okay, that rarely happens. You know, it's the whole afternoon thing. I know, so this, this trip is going to be so good for me. Oh my gosh, I'm so nerve-sighted about it. I'm sure you all know what nerve-sighted is. If you've not heard that term, it is excited and nervous all at the same time. You're nerve-sighted. I'm being a little bit persnickety with that lace because I've already, it's already has glue on some of it. So apparently, drape more Ovaltine. Why that came into my head, I do not know. I was actually thinking of a phrase and I was like, eat, read more books. Which I like to eat more Ovaltine. Drink more Ovaltine. Okay, I don't think I have anything else that would kind of go. Sorry, I didn't put them back. for it. Here we go. My story. The story. Mm. 
What's my dog doing? She has no idea the fun that's going to be in store for her. And Grandma will take excellent care of her. Which is what Donna wants to be referred to as Grammy. Everybody has their own. There we go. Alright. So that's as far as we got today. I will get a lot more done. Well. Okay, let's be honest. It's not going with me camping. Because we're not going to be at a campground. And there's not going to be any running water or electricity outside a generator so yay me i'm really going rustic like you know the toilet is in you know a curtained off area which i've just got all sorts of you know beachfront tents that they used to use <laughs> and running through my head okay so this is all we've gotten done today i know i'm so freaking slow slower than that molasses in january in iceland during a blizzard an ice storm so okay here we go this is what got if you liked what you've seen please give me a thumbs up yay uh hit the subscribe button drop a comment in the comment box um you know yes it's really nice to to hear lots of things from people but you know if you can just manage a smiley face is that i'm you know hey a comment is a comment um if anybody can tell me a brighter blue than this chipped sapphire, I, I, I kind of want that same darkness, if you will, but brighter, if that makes sense. Um, and on that note, I bid you adieu. Peace out. Bye, guys.